This video is just to make sure you have a sense of what's going on with um, the first derivatives of uh, parametric equations. So here's the function we're going to look at. It's going to end up looking like a pretzel. See, it's a particle that's uh, moving around and you know sometimes uh, moving to the left, the right, up, down. Um, we want to investigate what's going on or just make sure we see the connection between uh, dx dt and uh, the particle's path and dy dt in the particle's path. So to do that, uh, we'll break it down uh, one piece at a time. So first thing I'm going to do is look at dx dt. So what's going to happen is up here, a graph of dx dt is going to appear. I named this point dx dt so you can keep track of that. Uh, down here, it tells you what dx dt is. And then you also have to watch the particle as it moves. So uh, a lot going on. Good luck with that. So here we go. Um, dx dt is positive, particles move to the right. dx dt is still positive, it's still moving to the right, but it's about to stop moving to the right. Now you can see dx dt is negative, and it's moving to the left, and that's going to continue until right around there where it switches. Now it's moving to the right. It's going to be moving to the left now. And it's going to go back to the right, and keep moving to the right, and now back to the left. So you can see... Uh, the sign of dx dt is actually telling us uh, whether it's moving to the right or to the left. And uh, very similarly, uh, we get the same sort of thing for dy dt, which actually starts at zero in this case. And uh, so what I'll do now is I will let y, let t vary, and it uh, starts out moving uh, lower and lower and lower, and now it's going to be moving up. and then. Now it's going to start going back down, and it's still moving down, and now back up. And so you can see that um, we can actually look at these things independently. We don't have to think about dx dt when we're thinking about dy dt. Um, and I think that's a little bit different from what you're used to. So I wanted to make sure you had kind of seen it dynamically happen rather than just talking about it. And uh, this just has too much going on for you to really pay any attention to any of it. but. Uh, Here's all that stuff. And uh, we end up with this little pretzel-like curve. And uh, that's the impact of dx dt and dy dt. So I hope you find that somewhat informative. Um, good luck.